Hello everybody, welcome back. So today I have many things to be showing. I did end up picking a spot for the base. I started working on a little bit and I moved over there, set up some uh, animal farms and wheat farm and I, I, I do have one carrot that I got I think killing a zombie, cause that's what would make sense. And I planted it, but it hasn't. None of the stuff has grown yet, so I do want to breed the pigs, which I I have pigs, chickens, and cows in the area. But first of all, I want to talk about this. This is the zombie spawner that we found uh, last episode. I'm pretty sure. And it is a zombie spawner, which is not that, like, all you get is zombie flesh from it, which which isn't that great. So I want to make it an XP farm. And I was thinking the best way of doing that is I'll put water all along here, going over here, and they'll fall over the edge. And I'll make it drop to where I can hit them with my fist and kill them pretty easily pretty easily and that'll be the xp farm i don't have a an enchantment table yet but i do have reeds growing and i got a little bit more walking over here oh yeah and i killed the slime so i got all the moss stone from this and everything so i'm going to start working on this and i'll be back Alright guys, so I've done a little bit of work on the spawner. That's the area where I'll enter down into the area where I'll kill him. That's above the spawner. That's the hole that goes down with lava and stuff in it that was next to the spawner. And, okay, you know what? Go, go, go away. You go be annoying somewhere else. Stupid slimes. All I do is cause noise. Alright, well, I have these flowers too. So, I'm going to enter into the spawner room to kill. Down here, I just go down here, and then go down right over there. You just take a right. Actually, I guess I'll have to get up that way. But so I come down here, and right here is where the skeletons will drop. I'll have a thing right there, so I can just hit them. Or th the zombies, my bad. And I'll probably have chests around here to put all the f zombie flesh in. And I will... I In the future, I'll end up making an enchantment area right here with some books and some chests to put the books in once I enchant them. And tools, maybe. But so, it's going to be... Oh, yeah. One thing, I decided not to drop him down to hit him. I decided that I'll just use iron swords, which, because in the future I'll have a lot of iron, most likely. Uh, I had it designed like this, which I'll close that off. Actually, I might need to get the torches out of there. I'll have them, um, here's the water for right here. This will all come right to the edge right here. It'll drop them down there, and wherever they drop, It'll make them go to the center, which down there is where I'll kill them. And uh, I guess I'll just cover this up. And I know this spawner is a little bit low. It'll Zombies will probably spawn on top of it, but it doesn't really matter. This is just a temporary beginning uh, XP spawner type thing. In the future, when I have skeletons and stuff like that, or I just build a normal all-mob spawner, I will put a lot more time and effort into it than this, because it's just kind of a startup XP thing, which I can already almost enchant something to level 30. And, oh yeah, speaking of enchanting, once 1.8 comes out, I will update to it, obviously. 
and the enchanting for that I do really like the idea of that I use I played on 1.8 a little bit on my single player and oh, we're in the wrong way and I I really like how it's done because you don't have to have oh okay I have one you don't have to have a lot of XP you can just get 30 and then use the lapis which if you guys don't know the 1.8 enchanting method if you have minecraft you can just go into minecraft and use one of the snapshots which you have to check a box that says use experimental versions or something like that uh, but if not you can just look it up on youtube there's lots of videos about the new 1.8 enchanting so you use lapis and plus your xp levels but once you get to 30 and you use three of your you use three lapis and it'll show you on there like for one lapis uh it might give an enchantment such as like sharpens one or two it, it'll show you what enchantment you're guaranteed to get and it'll also show what did we get here? it'll also show uh how much lapis that costs so say you put in one lapis it'll show you uh, what enchantment you're guaranteed to get you do have a chance of getting more enchantments depending on the level of enchantment but so you put in two lapis it'll be a nicer enchantment and then three it'll be an even better enchantment plus whatever you have the potential to get with that enchantment and if you have 30 levels it'll just use like two or three of those levels. It won't use uh, skeleton. It won't use all thirty of your levels. So you could just get those those few levels, and then use your mob spawner or whatever you're using, and uh, get some of the levels back, and then you'll be already ready to enchant if you have lapis. So that's kind of their way of incorporating lapis into the game, because really it's just a decoration block. And I am out of food. All I have is that raw chicken. I'm gonna make it back to the base. Which enough with the enchantment thing. You guys can look it up if you really need to. I'm gonna get back to the new base area, which is just right over here. You can see the light kind of. And once I get there, I'll show you guys around. Okay guys, so we're here. And I chose this area because as you know, if you've watched the other episodes, I want nature incorporated. I really like nature. So I like all this stuff around here. I like how there's a river, and I'm pretty sure that's ocean over there. But the river comes in here. I could have farms set up around it. It looks really nice. And there's trees and everything. And after thinking about it, I want to build a base into the side of a mountain and have other rooms like veer off in directions inside the mountain or go down underground if this mountain's not going to be big enough which it doesn't really matter i'll have them go underground it doesn't matter to me but i chose this mountain right here this extreme hills biome area and i want to in the future have a nice big room in there that has glass walls all on the side and maybe this side over here to give it a nice open view of the area I know planes isn't that great to look at I mean it's plain it's, its name but I might put in some trees and such around there to make it a little bit nicer looking and he, those are the animal pins I was talking about oh, oh those are the animal pins I was talking about I have cows right there chickens right there and pigs right there and in the future, I'll probably end up getting sheep, but I don't necessarily need them now because I got a bed from other sheep that I killed. And there's the the sugarcane farm, and here's the wheat and the one carrot that I have, which it looks like it's almost ready. And I'll make, I'll probably in the future make a nice big, more, more automatic wheat farm. Just one where you can easily harvest. And I'm just gonna kill this guy. Ah, no string. Oh well. 
in the future I will make automatic farms, but I don't have redstone it. You know, I'll show you. There's my stash. I got the five cat discs, the one thirteen disc, and oh, I killed a witch, so that's why I have glowstone. I haven't been in the nether yet. My diamond horse ar or iron horse armor, twenty three. 23 iron and two stacks of coal plus this and what's in there oh here's my addition to the stash so that shows I haven't been mining that much I, I've seen a lot of caves that I want to go into but I've been busy trying to figure out where I want this uh, base to be set up and I thought this area looked really nice and I might continue the river on right there just to make it look nicer and move those pins. Who knows, maybe I'll just have a room, uh, hallway or staircase or whatever connecting to them on the inside so I won't have to remove them. And put like a glass background right there so you'll have the river in the background. I don't know, that's all for future future projects. But for now, we have this area. We at least have a place to call home now, compared to that dirt hole that was over there in that direction. Uh, I hope to make a nice rounded room in here. And one idea that I thought about was have rounded rooms going down. And in the middle of each room, I'll have an elevator and an area to drop down, so like water. And in each area, it'll drop down to water on the next level. And then you move over to a different hole to drop down the next level and move over to a different hole to drop down the next level and such. And then they'll have the uh, minecart elevators because I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make a piston elevator. But you can't really make stops with piston elevators. So, I don't know. Once again, future projects. For now, uh... I do want to have the mob system set up, the m XP farm with the zombies, which is over in that direction in the swamp. I don't have it completely set up yet. I have I have all the water set up and everything. I just need to turn it on, basically. All the torches are still on the spawner. Oh, and... After that, uh, I'm probably going to end up going mining once and for all because I really need some resources. I need to get some diamonds and some redstone and I think I'm going to go mining in this extreme hills area so I can get a head start on getting emeralds so I won't have to trade with villagers for all of them. And oh yeah, that's another new thing in the 1.8, the villager trading, if you guys don't know. Uh, it seems a lot better compared to the trading right now, in my opinion, because there's more villagers, I guess. They're all named by what they trade, so it'll be a fisherman that sells fish stuff, and a librarian that sells book stuff, and all that stuff, or all those different ones, and there's, there's one called a cleric, I think that's how it's how you say it not not like clerk like a a store clerk it's like cleric I'm pretty sure that's how you say it but they buy rotten flesh which is another good reason to have that that farm over there with the zombies the uh, zombie spawner because you can sell the rotten flesh I think it's between 32 and 42 or something like that for the trades and you'll sell the rotten flesh for an emerald and you get emeralds that way but really the emeralds aren't that important they haven't come up with a big a big thing for emeralds yet except for trading which nobody really uses or nobody that I've seen really uses the trading to uh, get their materials I think they just get emeralds and kind of forget about it and then have villagers just to have them just in case you want to trade for a name tag or something like that which there are some good uses for them like name tags if you don't want to go looking for spawners and such 
But that's enough rambling on about stuff. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix up the mob spawner and get it working, and I'll be back. All right, everybody. So I have the spawner going. Oh, wait. I need to those gone. I have the spawner going, and... Oh, hold on. Uh, hostile. Ten seems good. Yeah, so I have the thing going. And they're actually pr coming in at a decent rate. I didn't put anything to cover the top of the spawner, so that might have zombies spawning on top of it. But it doesn't seem to matter because they're coming in at an alright rate. That just might be the first little burst of them and they'll come in at in groups because that seems to be what usually happens. But it's it's fine. Because most likely what will happen is I'll come over here, kind of barricade myself in, and leave my computer going for for however long. Uh, and leave the game on and let them build up so I can come in and kill them. And I said at first I was... Oh, oh I didn't count for that. Okay. I said at first I was going to use swords to kill him. But, I think in the future, a really good idea to kill him is using the uh, the uh, instant health potions. Just get a big group of them and then throw an instant health potion at them and they'll die. So, I th yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. Uh, in the future, or... <laughs> Yeah, in the future, maybe not next episode or anything like that, I will start expanding the house, especially once I need the space. And I'll make a... I think one of the layers is going to be a chest room. I think I'm going to have it on the second layer. So it'll be easy access. And I don't really know what the other layers will be for. We'll figure that out, that out in the future. But for today's episode, that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.